Hello everyone, Russell Wright from NetworkEmpire.com and this video is for the students of Network Empire currently taking the Google Plus Plus course and the Curation Profits course. We're going to talk about Scoop.it and we're going to talk about how to use it more effectively. I've had several questions coming in, probably a couple dozen, from various students about Scoopit and why I view Scoopit as my favorite content curation platform and what version of Scoopit they should uh, upgrade to or get and why. Those of you who have taken the Google Plus course and the Curation Profits course probably have the most insight into our one feed to rule them all system, which is essentially how we use RSS syndication, search engine optimization combined with content curation, all of those in their proper form in order to drive traffic to your central website structures and that's all part of the course we also provide this for clients we don't believe that SEO content curation and RSS syndication are separate entities and there's not a war between these technologies it's actually an integration of all of them but it requires an understanding as a result scoop.it of the dozens of uh, content curation platforms that we use uh, scoop it really does take the cake as far as usability it can be used both for your golden frame uh, technology in other words the we talk about the golden frame as being the place that you want to drive people for conversion into your offer and or your services uh, it can be used for that but it can also be used for stuff on your outer ring it's the most flexible platform you know in other words when I say your outer ring it can be used to drive traffic to your own properties or it can be used to curate uh, traffic to other properties that you have uh, organized your content you can use uh, scoop.it as just a dashboard to organize your theme relevant clusters as you know our network empire and domain web studio technologies uh, teach you how to organize thematically focused content for optimal keyword optimization as well as thematic what we call theme clustering there is nothing like scoop it uh, to do that <laughs> except our technologies as far as research is concerned and building your site out based on theme clustering as Sue Bell and I talk about it so that's only scratching the surface of why I feel this technology is probably the most effective curation and syndication software out there however many of the confusion some people keep asking me about the difference between a business Scoopit account versus the regular Scoopit account. Now, all this information you can find on Scoopit's own guided tour. I've been talking to the uh, Scoopit developer. He's just he's recently been in France uh, giving a radio podcast, video cast uh, show, and other things he's been doing out there. He's a very very busy guy. Uh, you can find out more about. Uh, the features that this technology has. Um, again, this is the curation technology to watch because it takes into account many different levels of curation combined with SEO and syndication. I recently talked to him about some features in the RSS syndication area that some of my viewers and uh, students would like to see happen. And it's challenging to be all things to all people. Uh, but again, he's been very uh, ac accepting of the questions and that we've had about this. The main thing I want to point out to you is what the professional version. You know you have this, you have professional or pro and you ha also have education which is not here but you also have business. Um, this is the current business account. Okay, I, th I think it's somewhere in the ballpark of $70 a month or something like that. And what you get with that is really if you are using it in a particular way where you want to use your Scoopit account uh, for what we call your branded uh, domains okay which would mean that they are let's go back to our list here it, it means that you're using it for the golden frame technologies and uh, essentially web ring number one which we talk about in our course and web ring number two these are your branded websites that you want to uh, you know drive people to your core products they're not being used to generate tra traffic or page rank or any of these other things they're essentially going to be used to represent your company or business and that was the intended use of scoop it anyway and some more serious curators really do want to have their branding associated with their you know we haven't really branded our scoop it stuff so this is not a good demonstration of how to brand uh, but I just wanted to make sure that you understood that we're in the process right now of adding our own logos and everything to our Scoopit account because you want to have you can then take responsibility for being curated 
uh, you know, for being the curator of certain topics. And that drives a lot of traffic, plus provides authority and a variety of other methods that we've been teaching you, okay? Um, so the major difference that is really key for your SEO and conversion metrics is the free version is zero per month. I know some of you are using that. Pro is 12 per month and business is 79. One of the things I want to point out that you just really need if you're going to get serious about driving traffic and it's our, you know, uh, Scoop It has already um, replaced itself as far as value. It's already a return on investment for me as far as what it does, okay? So the Scoop It analytics function is what we're going to go over in this video today. I'm going to show you quickly how to set that up because for, as you know, both for Sue Bell and myself, analytics is very important. The non-free version does not really have the analytics that you need, okay? The pro version, which is $12 a month, has some, both the Scoopit Analytics, which is really nice. When I'm talking about the Scoopit Analytics, I'm talking about when you, go to a, uh, when you go to your dashboard, you can see that um, it'll tell you like how many has viewed uh, today. You know how many? I don't have a lot of traffic to, these, to this particular Scoopit account, but this is really, um, you know, it shows you kind of how many views you've had overall. It'll give you an idea of what kind of traffic you're getting to the sites. You have an opportunity to scoop other people's content and, you know, kind of interact with other content curators within this. Um, but I actually want Google Analytics tied to that, and it's in the more advanced version, either Pro or um, business where you're able to actually integrate with your Google Analytics account and of course that's going to be key for both your SEO functionality and your webmaster functionality webmaster analytics okay so really either the pro or the business version now the reason I like the business version is because you can have up to 15 uh, topics that you curate per account okay yeah, and they do give you the suggestion engine and all the functionality rich texts and links are a part of that so really the major difference here is the number of topics that you can curate 10 versus 15 okay so let me just show you a little bit about Google Analytics which you can have on either the pro or the business functionality <clears throat> let's take let's just take an account that I have not um, created Google Analytics for yet. Let's go to one brand new topic that I've started and let's just take a look at it. Google SEO expert Matt Cut Speaks. It's one of the name of one of our magazines. Okay. Um, so all you have to do is go to, I really haven't promoted this at all. That's why there's no views or traffic or anything like that. And I'm still building this. You can go to the export function and the export function is actually located, oops, not here, it's back on your dashboard. Go to the dashboard and look at the particular, just click on the magazine topic area. And you're going to want to go over here to manage and then go to export. Okay, this is going to give you both your, uh, that's your actual URL to the direct magazine itself. And here's your RSS feed. We're gonna get into the RSS feed in another video because I'm currently talking to the developer, the owner himself about that. So that's one place you can do it. And uh, gosh, so that's the export function area. And I always keep messing this up, I'm sorry guys. Um, up here is your analytics. He's got it in a very obvious place. <laughs> and it says, hey, you haven't configured your Google Analytics yet. Just enter your Google Analytics tracker ID at the bottom and you're done. Okay, he's got it in a very convenient location. <laughs> so it's just located right here. Sorry, guys. I, I've been dealing a lot with the manage area because I'm dealing with RSS feeds, so I seem to have that on my brain. Okay, so all you have to do um, to add your analytics is just go down here and uh, you can see that because I've got no traffic to this because I haven't syndicated or even shared it with other curators I haven't done anything with this that is really promotionally based I haven't syndicated it through any of our blog networks this is a brand new experiment uh, dealing with Google. Um, the idea is that I'm doing video curation of Matt Cutts's videos at, at Google Webmaster Tools because he's got some good stuff and since we're definitely experts in that area as well as Sue Bell my business partner we're going to add value to some of the things that Matt says from a non Google perspective and by also you know using and curating his videos because they're really really rich content so 
go ahead and go here. You're going to need to go to your Google Analytics account. Oh, and by the way, before I do this, I just want to say that uh, the Scoop It team has done a great job of just adding a lot of help functions. Okay, so you go over here to Need Help. Okay, just click on that Need Help function and it drops down your step-by-step -step functionality of exactly what you need to do to get your Google Analytics on, on, uh, on sync with this system, okay? I'm actually gonna walk you through that process right now. Just to let you know that Scoopit has a fantastic uh, you know, help management area. As you can see, I'm a definitely huge fan for more reasons than one. Okay, and you go ahead and go to your Google Analytics. You're gonna click your new account. I actually name the general information in my Google Analytics account, the, the exact name of the magazine, because I have so many Google Analytics websites. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have the name of your actual account. You can just grab it from here, I believe. I believe that'll copy paste. Okay, there you go. Google SEO Expert Mass Cut, Matt Kutch. You might wanna go ahead and just let, them, let yourself know that it's Scoop It, if you have as many accounts as I do. And you're gonna wanna grab your analytics link as well okay and make sure that you have that again I'm not super advanced at that system so that would have been over <laughs> where I showed you where to grab your uh, link but you can also grab it directly go to your dashboard one of the faster ways to get your link you don't have to go into the you know you can actually grab it right from the, the browser but make sure you're actually in the topic okay so that's going to be acceptable if you grab that there Okay, obviously remove the HTTP here. Okay, and I actually have my settings already set to what I want. I don't mind sharing with platforms and I agree. Create that account and Google is going to give you your number straight away. And it's gonna be right here. You can either grab it from here or you can grab it right here in the HTML if you really wanna uh, in the script area, if you really wanna confuse yourself. And then you just go uh, down here, and they've made it super easy. You just stick your code right in there, okay, and click OK, and it'll tell you that the the tracker ID is successfully is saved successfully. Okay, now it takes a day or two for the Google Analytics uh, functionality to come in. Go ahead and make sure that you've saved this. See that save button? Don't forget to hit that, or you'll be sorry. You'll have to go in and do it again. All right. Now that just means that that new magazine with Matt Cuts is fully active and has itself set up and it's really great. Okay. Now it's going to take a couple days to go through. You can see on my account list that I've already got some other domains. I've got a couple of other Scoop It properties that I, a couple days ago. Okay. And all you have to do is go over to it and it'll show you what's going on with those. And like I said, folks, you're gonna have to learn some Google Analytics tools. We do have other courses on this and some of the functionality. They're changing, they have new updated uh, views of the Google Analytics. So if this is looking strange to some of my students, that's because they have the older version and then they have the new default version. As Google unifies their entire database across all their apps, you're gonna see more and more of this kind of interface. All right, so um, just wanted to make sure that you can just go to this drop down menu. It's going to take, a, like I said, it's going to take a few days for the Scoop It stuff to come through. Here's something I did, I think, yesterday afternoon. Advanced SEO. You can just click on this stuff and you can click on Standard Reporting. The Standard Reporting button should let you know if there's any data. I doubt that I have much data since this is brand new, but I'll go ahead and click on that anyway. Yeah, so it'll show me on Friday, which is yesterday, like around the time that I installed it, um, it's got a view. Okay, you can go to any of your, um, here's another one, content curation is not social media. Go ahead and open that up and it'll give you the standard reporting view. Okay, and there's four, four visitors and it'll tell you where the traffic sources were. And so again, we're starting to get into more of Google Analytics and the sources are there too. Okay. So there's no data yet for this, but when you start getting more traffic, you're gonna, you can see here that um, using Google Analytics, you get a little bit more referral data than you might with just Scoop It by itself, although their data gives you the traffic, which is really great. You can see that this came from Google as referral. All three of these came from my Google Plus syndication, which is part of the Plus Plus course. Uh, you know, I have everything uh, syndicated through Google Plus, so it's no surprise that you know this is only 
taken about seven hours for Google to accept the Google Plus, uh, the, I'm sorry, the Scoopit uh, analytics data. Okay, and you can see that I'm already starting to get good data coming in there from the fact that people are definitely clicking over to my Scoopit page from Google Plus. And I've also converted sales and course students from Google Plus directly from Scoopit pages as well. So hopefully you can see the value then of updating anything, okay, or upgrading rather to the either the pro version, which is incredibly affordable, or the if you're going to go a little bit bigger, maybe your mid-sized business to large, especially if you're using our silo functionality and our one feed and one web ring to rule them all system, I do recommend that you go ahead and brand those pages. We'll have ours branded to show you a demo on how to brand on Scoopit within the next 30 days. Thanks. Russell Wright from NetworkEmpire.com. This has been a little coverage of the Scoopit platform. Uh, Russell Wright signing off.